Hello! Was this doubtfire? Um, <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> Composure. Itchy nose. <laughs> Hi everybody! How are you all doing today? How are you all doing this week since the last time I spoke to you? How are you doing? Today, of course, nothing new here. We are reacting to the next video of my 2017 Japan solo trip, my very first solo trip. Uh, we're still in the Tokyo section and the title of this one is called Found My Spirit Animal in Akihabara. I have a feeling I remember this one and also because there was a comment in the uh, one of the previous videos that mentioned uh, that they wanted to see that episode again and I think it's that one fingers crossed for that viewer uh, Pachi is joining us today maybe you can hear him purr which would be friggin adorable but I can definitely hear him keeping me company I'm taking a break from studying because I have a test after tomorrow I'll already have had it by the time this video comes out but I needed a little break and instead of studying Japanese I am going to watch some Japan related video um, before we start, as usual, I would like to invite all of you to share the hashtag education is not tourism. You can read about it on the website educationisnottourism.com. You can watch a bunch of videos on Davide Rossi's YouTube channel and his Twitter. That's where he's the most active. This initiative is for international students like myself who have been waiting to enter the country for a very very long time now and uh, there is no word from the government to when we're going to be able to enter the country so we are stuck waiting in a state of limbo which is which has been probably the hardest thing i've ever had to do in my life at this point it's coming up to a year and a half it's getting ridiculous and i'm actually coming up to a point where I might have to cancel my trip. I really hope it doesn't come to that, but if it doesn't happen in October, if there's no word from the government at all by October, I'm just gonna have to just cancel, put it off, just not go at all, or like... I have no clue. I have no clue what, what I'm gonna do, but my back is against the wall. I can't stay living here any longer yeah i i can't even i can't even let's just i can't even <laughs> on a more um fun note what do you think of this top i got it uh second hand and i'm not sure if i'm going to return it or not i'm wondering if it's too you know floofy for myself um but she has left us but you are still there it has not been a very fun week guys it has not been fun at all as usual blind could trying to read which one is left and which one is right mm -hmm. so that we can get started with our little episode episode five solo trip to japan found my spirit animal in akihabara um from the title i think it's the one where i explore a garden and the garden is about to close and it's getting dark and i'm not sure where the way out is and i follow an old man to in hopes of finding the exit i think that's the one as usual if you haven't seen the episode yet i invite you to watch it before because this is gonna be like a condensed version where i talk a lot like now talk a lot i do talk a lot um and uh yeah it's it's worth to give it a full watch so let's go okay yeah i'm in akihabara clearly Good morning everybody, I'm in Akihabara today and I just turned on my camera for the first time and it said memory card error and I was like no! I can't believe that yesterday, uh, two days ago, I was wearing a t-shirt and no coat and now I'm like with my jumper and coat and scarf. I need to get out of this alley. Uh, behind me, I'm gonna try something that's uh, a place called kom koma Komaki Shokuro and it's a vegan Japanese vegan Japanese meal and I believe this is uh, Zen food Let's see if they have some room for me and uh, have an early lunch because I didn't really have breakfast Let's go do that Thank <laughs> you. 
quick note about that meal from what I remember it did take me a very long time to find the place as usual me and my map reading skills weren't really up to par to find it uh, I think I read about it in a guide I've always wanted to try that kind of cuisine so I was definitely looking forward to it even though I do remember turning around and around quite a lot and being so close to giving up and then there it was and I'd walked past it so many times it's because it's in this kind of um, shop where you can buy the ingredients I suppose that they use for cooking and then there's this tiny little uh, area where you eat and it was it was good it was just so different and I couldn't figure out what it was so it was a big mysterious dish but I definitely try it again Kandam Yojin. I think I went there to see um, a flea market, maybe. Actually, I'm not sure. It looks like a flea market, right? I don't remember this one at all but then again I've seen so many temples and shrines and but yeah let's take a break here to update I was in Akihabara mm. for most of the day uh, walked around saw what type of uh, area it was, mm. a lot of anime, manga, mm. collectibles, toys, figurines, all that stuff and then I tried to find a uh, dessert cafe and I never found it but on the way I found that little uh, temple thing it wasn't a temple, it was a shrine, I keep mixing them mm. up a little, a little shrine thing that I got to visit with a little more of a traditional feel right in the middle of uh, Tokyo which was quite nice and now I am on my way to a garden I mm. think which might not be the best idea seeing the weather but yeah, I remember this I wanted to update you guys here is uh, Tokyo Dome yeah and I remember that there, there was Tokyo Dome a, behind me yeah, a roller coaster uh, some, I guess it's Tokyo Dome City I'm just gonna see if I can find that uh, garden see if it's worth going there and then I'm probably gonna head back to my capsule hotel to check in and I really need to pee so yeah <laughs> I'm here at Koishikawa, Koishikawa Korakuen and it closed at 5 I it's think I went there more than once so this was I believe around the last I entrance sure. and I'm so happy I made it because it's quiet and just beautiful <sighs> happy I made it it was worth the trip I walked here that was a Definitely long walk, yo, I remember. Again, I saw quite a lot of gardens and, you know, like parks and gardens while in Tokyo and different parts of Japan, so they do kind of mix up in my head. I do remember this one because you could hear the people on the roller coaster screaming, which was kind of a. Mm. I think I'm mixing this one up with one that I went in Shinjuku. I'm now realizing how huge this park is and that I probably won't have time to see everything before closing, which is kind of a shame. Will be something on my list when I come back. Hungry. It's a little eerie when you think about it. The park closes in less than 30 minutes. It's about to get dark. I'm all alone here. Could get lost. <laughs> Hopefully not. Maybe I'll just follow this OG. The OG -san. Yeah, I'm definitely mixing parks up in my head. 
because it's like immediately dark and I thought that, that I stayed there maybe longer and did like some other detours in the park it's a shame that I can't show you this properly it's just getting too dark and also I can't really linger for too many places at least you can hear the cicadas, the crickets and everything I do want to be out of the park before they close I expect they'll they won't close if there are people right. in there but, <laughs> yeah right the only thing though is that there's no one here like literally no one there was just this oji san who was in front of me and now he's gone <laughs> dun, dun, dun. so where is the oji san maybe maybe i'll get a move on now oh i thought it was a wild animal but we are right oh yeah to. it made it a little weird a park which kind of ruined the yeah. ambiance if you ask me <laughs> oh, i can see the og sun maybe he's waiting for me making sure i'm still around look it's a turtle can oh, you yeah, see it i can see it okay let's not fall in please <laughs> Okay, then my I love my, narra my uh, narrating. Now, ooh. <laughs> just, I just say everything that comes through my head. See, I'm at a crossroads again. Should I go this way or Choose that your way? Adventure. I'm gonna go this way because this is the way Oji san Let's went. Follow. And I keep calling him Oji san, but he's not that Let's old. Follow Oji san. <laughs> Maybe he's my spirit animal, you know? Like some people see deers and they follow them, follow them out of the so random. forest and things and Why am I my so spirit random? animal is an Ojisan okay, <laughs> it's actually really dark down there my spirit um, animal is the Ojisan who is leading me out of the could it be? <laughs> of the park uh, I believe that I'm lost <laughs> look at that, it's like a labyrinth Oh, uh, here's the announcement again, so I'm going to get out soon. Oji-san! Okay. <laughs> I just saw Oji-san again. Oh, I just... there we go. You look way, way over there. There you go, there he is. Where is he? Here's my Oji-san that I'm following down. I found the exit. <laughs> I, had, I was a little stressed there for like two minutes and I was like, mm, which way? Okay, and they're playing the little that background amazing. music. Recommend. Like, got what it's called. We invite though. you to get the f out. Of course. <laughs> I had way too much fun doing that. Now I had my was that um, Earl Grey again? No, no, it's a different kind of tea. I'm at the Capsule Hotel, which was all pink and cute, and it felt really good to be in that little Capsule Hotel. Even though I mean, it was just one night, not like the second trip where. <laughs> I stayed in friggin' capsule hostel for hotel hostel. I think the second time was considered a hostel. For like two weeks! It was so bad. Whereas there, it was just one night and it was just so cozy. So it's, it's so funny to be like, you need a little bit of both. But to be honest, the best times were when I had the Airbnbs uh, in both Osaka and Hiroshima. Those were like the coziest times where I just had the place to myself. <laughs> I guess that really shows how much of an introvert I am and how much I need my bubble. Uh, yeah, that was kind of a short episode. What else do I remember? I don't remember much. Like same as the previous episode, I don't remember much of what I did. The images that I have in my head are obviously being in Akihabara with that big Sega building and seeing all the maids and all the maid cafes. I've never been inside one, but I'm definitely intrigued. Uh, will not be going there alone, so don't ask me. <laughs> uh, what else do I remember? I know like a lot of the day was gone into walking. Save the money, walk, but didn't save my feet <laughs> and the time. Like, mm. yeah, walking is fun, but it does take up a lot of time. Um, I. I think I'm mixing up two gardens right now because I have memories of one garden of me doing some particular like climbing so that may have been maybe the royal gardens at the palace 
maybe that one is the one I'm mixing it with but the best part obviously was the OG Sun I had forgotten about him until I saw the comments saying can you watch that episode again um, totally forgot and yes it was hilarious to be the only, probably one of the only people left in the park with this old I don't know how old he was uh, older gentleman <laughs> who seemed to know where he was going and uh, wanting to stay but also not wanting to get lost and worrying that maybe they just closed the park and I yeah <laughs> I don't know how it would have worked. Yeah, so another kind of chill, laid-back episode because there's not much happening there. I'm not sure how much more I do in Tokyo, but I hope you enjoyed it nonetheless. I hope you enjoyed my my randomness, which I personally love, but I don't think everyone gets, <laughs> including my own friends and family. Um, but yeah, I hope I hope it, it was fun to rewatch this and remember. And uh, let, as usual, let me know what uh, you do when you're in Akihabara or what you would do in in those areas. Uh, if you would try and go on the roller coaster near Tokyo Dome, or maybe see a baseball match, or see the garden and see if you can find the sacred Ojisan <laughs> who guides you to the exit. I don't know. Um, it was fun to take a break from studying for me, at least nonetheless, so yeah, I'm gonna let you guys go, go on with your day, have fun, enjoy, have fun with your life. I'm in um, a weird state of mind, so don't worry about my exaggerated mood, that's how I, you know, like, lift myself up when I had, I had a bad week last week, so it's kind of like, ugh, yeah. Don't forget to share that hashtag, education is not tourism, if you like the video, Please like it. it, it's always nice to see that people are watching and leaving likes and comments. It, it always feels nice to have other people join me in reminiscing in this little uh, Japan episode, Japan travel, so yeah. I'm gonna go back to studying and rest my mind, which is very tired. Hope you're feeling good, hope to chat with you on any platform that you want, and I'll see you soon in the next one. I'll word you off.